Hello dearly beloved, welcome to another episode of today's word. Today, the Saturday in the octave of Easter, we are reflecting on Acts chapter 4 verse 13 to 21 and Mark chapter 16 verse 9 to 15. Before we do the reflection, let us pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who by the abundance of the grace give increase to the peoples who believe in you. Look with favor on those you have chosen and clothe with blessed immortality those reborn through the sacrament of baptism. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Dearly beloved, this morning, Mother Church presents us with Mark's account of the resurrection of Jesus, where we are told after the woman had narrated their story to the disciples, Jesus himself came to show himself to them. And he specifically gave them a mandate. He says, go into the world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. They are to go into the world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. That is the mandate they were given. And it is also this mandate that is reflected in the, gospel, in the first reading of today, where the apostles are asked to stop preaching in the name of Jesus. And Peter says, they should judge for themselves whether it is right to listen to man or to listen to God. But the question is, how do we proclaim the gospel to all creatures? In the words of Pope Paul the Sixth, the world today listens to witnesses and not to teachers. And that if the world is listening to teachers today, it's because the teachers themselves have become witnesses. The greatest witness we can give to the gospel and to the resurrection is a change in our lives. It's a change in our attitude. Our deeds must reflect our faith in God. And living out our faith is the greatest testimony we can give to this faith in God. So if Jesus is sending us to go and proclaim the gospel, he's sending us on two accounts. That one, we proclaim the gospel by our very lives, and two, we proclaim the gospel by the word of our mouth. Today, the testimony of the word of our mouth is what everybody is thinking about, because that is the easiest aspect. But the greatest challenge is to let your life communicate the good news of the gospel. If you believe in the gospel, live a life that translates this belief in action by loving your neighbor and loving God also. As you go through this day, remember, you are mandated to share the gospel of Jesus' resurrection with your life, with your deeds, and with the words you utter. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we praise you with our lips and with our lives and hearts. Our very existence is a gift from you. To you we offer all that we have and are. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the name of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Have a wonderful day. And remember to share the content and subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.